Every year, fans get overwhelmed with the long list of K-dramas from romances, thriller, slangs of life dramas, and many more. The director of Korean dramas constantly tries to predict the evidence's thoughts and craft their productions to give viewers from all over the world an accelerating experience. Here in this video, we will share the list of top 10 most popular Korean dramas of 2022 that you can stream right now. But before getting into the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and engrossing Korean dramas. Let's get started. Number 10. Liberation Notes Liberation Notes tells the bittersweet story about three siblings, Mi Jiang, Ki Jiang, and Chang Hee, who are facing hardships to balance their life and remain happy. The story centers around these three siblings along with a stranger who wants to make a life that they love. Mi Jiang is already shy and makes reasons not to go out, but when her employees compel her to go to the cafes or bars, she cannot refuse and end up wounded during the party. Chang Hee, another sibling, is a hopeless romantic, but his love and romantic luck are mixed back and he constantly ends himself wounded. He has been through a few painful breakups and is still seeking. Finally, Ki Jung is fed up with life and has no expectations of it. His reply reflects her attitude towards her lifestyle. They all like the countryside but are shy around strangers. One thing that stayed consistent across all three was their vision of a happy existence. They show how their life will be when everything goes their way and how will they respond. Number 9. Juvenile Justice The series follows the story of Shim Yusik, an elite judge with a cold and distant personality who is known for her dislike of juveniles as she becomes a newly appointed judge of juvenile court in Yenahua district, where she breaks costumes and administers her own ways of punishing the offenders. She has to deal with and balance her aversions to minor offenders with firm beliefs on justice and punishment as she tackles complex cases with discovering what being an adult truly means. The courtroom drama sends a message of how society is also responsible for juveniles act. Number 8. Our Blues our Blues takes on an omnibus-style drama which tells the story of diverse characters that are somewhat interconnected in one way or the other. Lee Dong-suk, a guy born on the beautiful island of Jeju, selling goods from the mainland in his truck for a living. He meets Min Sun Ah, a girl with mysterious past, who has come to Jeju to escape the life. Park Jung Jun, a ship captain falls in love with Lee Jung Ok, a driver with bright and bubbly personality. Jung In Hee, a fish shop owner, reunites with her past lover Chuai Hansu. They cross paths in Jiju Island when he returns back after realizing that city life is not for him. Number 7 Extraordinary Attorney Vu The story follows the bright, determined young Vu as she signs on with a top Korean law firm. Although she graduated with honors from a prestigious university and can remember every word she ever read, her awkward social behavior makes it difficult for her to initially fit in. However, the decisions to hire her turns out to be a good move for the law firm as attorney Vu has a very unique way of looking at things that sometimes solves a tricky case. Extraordinary Attorney Wu features some interesting court case in which Wu Yung gets to shine, illustrating the beauty inherent in diversity. Number 6. Alchemy of Souls Set in a fictional country called Dahyo that does not exist in history or on maps, the series is about the love and growth of young mages as they overcome their twisted fates due to a forbidden magic spell known as Alchemy of Souls which allows souls to switch bodies. It follows the story of an elite warrior named Naksu whose soul is accidentally trapped inside the weak body of Mandirk. She becomes entangled with Jang UK, who is from a noble family and becomes his servant. Number 5. The Sound of Magic The Sound of Magic is an emotional music drama that revolves around Yoon Ah-hee, a poor student attending Swan High School 
who has diminished her belief in magic, which she had a passion for when she was younger. Under many misfortunes, she wishes to grow faster to become an adult, so she can escape the major stressors in depth, which weigh her down. She then meets Ryu, an adult magician who wants to remain as a so-called child. Under despise and suspicion from whole community, he aims to claim he is a real magician, asking whoever he meets, do you believe in magic? After being a frequent visitor of Ryu's residence, Ayu's deskmate Nan Li Jing, who is a cold and well of student, starts to practice on her magic lessons with the magician, soon beginning to show a lightning towards her and magic tricks. In all, Ayu's life gradually changes as she becomes a follower of Ryu, making herself again a believer in magic and further deciding to follow her dreams in earnest. Number 4. Shooting Stars the series is about the romantic and comedy love story to top star Gong Taesung sharing a love-hate relationship with Oh Han Bill. As one of the nation's most beloved stars, Gong Taesung is used to living his life in spotlight. With the eyes of the world constantly on him, Taesung does his best to keep a smile on his face and his temper in check. Seen by the people as kind and polite young men, the only people who do not buy into his whole good guy persona are those working for his management company. As the head of that company's PR team, Oh Halbiol knows exactly what Tyson is really like. Well aware of his strong desire to win and his hot temper, Hanbiol has had to employ his excellent speech and crisis management skill on a number of occasions. In order to keep Tai Song's reputation as spotless as it seems, constantly bickering, there isn't anyone in the world better suited into the role of natural enemies than Han Biao and Tai Sung. Forever at odds with each other, Tai Sung and Han Biao seems destined to hate each other forever. But could the time they are forced to spend together change those feelings, or will their mutual loathing last for all eternity? Number 3, 25, 21. A drama about the romantic story of two people who first met when they were 22 and 18, then again four years later at 25 and 21. The story follows the pure and fierce growth of immature youth and excitement and difficulties between friendship and love. In 1998, Ha Hee Do is a member of school fencing team at Sijang's Girls High School, but due to the IMF crisis, the team is disbanded. To continue pursuing her passion, she transforms Taiyang High School and later manages to become a member of the national fencing team. Baek Yi Jin's family goes from riches to rags and is spared due to the financial crisis. He is forced to take up several part-time jobs and later becomes a sports reporter. In a present day Kim Min Chase, Nahida's daughter quits ballot and runs away to her grandmother's house. During her stay, she comes across her mother's diary, through which the story is then told. Number 2. Business Proposal Highlighting an employee boss office romance, this drama marks a narrative troupe that is familiar, nonetheless enduring at the same time, and it infused spectators with non-stop heart flutters while simultaneously providing hilarious performances from the main leads. Shin Hee Ri is a single woman and works for a company. She has a male friend, who she has had a crush on for a long time, but she learns he has a girlfriend. Shin Hari feels sad and decides to meet her friend Jin Young Su, who is the daughter of a Chebel family. Jin Young Su then asks Shin Hari to take her place in a blind date and even offers some money for her time. Shin Hari accepts her friend's offer. She goes out on the blind date as Jin Young Su while having the intention to get rejected by her date. When she sees her blind date, Shin Hari is dumbfolded. Her blind date is Ken Tai Mu. He is the CEO of the company where she works. Number 1. Tomorrow Tomorrow is a drama based on webtoon of the same name by Rama and follows the story of Chui Jun Wong and his job with the special crisis management team of the underworld. Chui Jun Wong is a job seeker who is unable to secure a job. Through an accident, he meets the Grim Reapers, Ku Yin and Lim Ryung Gu, 
who had the task of preventing suicide and works with them as the youngest contract worker in the crisis management team of Death Angels. So, which of these series have you added to your favorite list? I hope you like all this and will be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep supporting and take care.